This CRT issue, that's the pandemic we have to worry about. It's in our schools, it's in our military, it's in our government at all levels, it's in our corporations, it's in our media culture, and it's this sort of casual racist approach to treating American citizens. That some citizens are to be vilified because of their race and treated as victims because of their race, not because of anything they've done in terms of being uh, terrible or wonderful, simply because of their race. That's what critical race theory is about. You see elements of it in all sorts of peculiar ways. You had the Minneapolis school district and government there come up with a teacher's contract that specifically exempted minorities from layoffs. And we're challenging that. In Asheville, North Carolina, they had a city scholarship that we challenged, funded by city taxpayers, and they said only minorities can apply. We fought that successfully. We've been exposing this critical race theory, racist propaganda being force-fed our military at West Point. We've sued at the U.S. Naval Academy. And you have segregation groups going on in Rhode Island, here in the District of Columbia in the schools. Montgomery County, they're talking about pushing critical race theory books on babies. And I could go on and on. We have other teachers we're representing for taking on or saying the wrong thing about this critical race theory, Black Lives Matter propaganda, or anything else the left doesn't like. All being fired in retaliation or suffering other harm. So we have all these series of lawsuits. I know there's no one else has as many lawsuits as Judicial Watch has in this area. So it doesn't get much more comprehensive than this. But this is the crisis we face. This is Marxism at its heart. And that means it's revolutionary at its heart. And they all have variations. You have critical feminist theory. You have critical queer theory. You have this transgender extremism. It's all designed to blow up the superstructure of Western civilization. And you can be sure that Judicial Watch will continue to man the front lines with your support as we defend the rule of law and our U.S. Constitution from all enemies, foreign and domestic.